title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. talented as 155 pounds. It is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vinks. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion. This is high octane fighting, the highest level of fighting, MMA, UFC. That was a big punch. I can teach you a lot, but you got to be willing to listen. What you going to do? Oh, he barely caught. That was the phantom punch. Nope, I want them ribs. Let me get a uh, baby bag ribs with a uh, barbecue sauce and uh, potatoes and coleslaw. Oh, boy. He got a nice set of power on him. Set him up with the one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Brutality. Look at your health bars. Look back up, man. Mm, mm, he too open. He 
is a bad, bad man. He is a bad, bad man. Yes, sir. I love it. I love it. That's a wrap. Here we go with the slow-mo. Finish him. Nighty-night. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Here we go. Spin his ass in circles and hit him. He missed the biscuit, though. Boom. Boom, uppercut. Gave him some Hawaiian punch, huh? You gonna knock him out, you gonna play with him all night. <gasps> he smells blood in the ocean. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, that is. What a great shot. Oh, come on. Come get it. Straight to the cheers. Okay. Putting out of application, filling him out. Size him up. Mm. He needed an excuse out. I like that the chase. Hit him with the Muhammad Ali fan. He's out. And you do know that is a wrap. So says Snoop Dogg. <laughs> oh man, I gotta watch that in slow motion. I like that. I like that, but I was on. That was some You know, when you're going for that knockout, you gotta really make sure you precise with that punch or that kick. Running down. Look at it. Just size him up. Hold his hands inside. When you're going for the knockout, you got to be willing to chase. You got to go chase him. Give me some of that. You going to knock him out, you going to play with him all night. Get his ass in, bitch. Big foot. I see a big foot coming. Two piece. Right over the top of the head. There you go. Back up, man. Your bars is low. See, when you smell it, when you smell blood, you got to attack. He looks rattled right now. Oh, yeah. That's a wrap. Benito. Whatever you want to call it. Done dinner. Done deal. That's a wrap. See ya. Cool. Let's watch some of those replays. Boom, boom, play the drums on his head. Boom, boom. What they call that opidemomy when they pull your appendix up? Yeah, that's what I just gave you.